In today's video, I'll share a quick tutorial on how to fix your white balance using Filmora 10. Specifically, how to reduce your yellow lighting in your footage so your YouTube videos look more professional. Filmora is giving away a free one-year license to three lucky winners. To enter, put a comment below this video with the hashtag CreateWithFilmora and let us know what video you plan on creating next. Winners will be randomly chosen and announced January 1st on the community tab. Something most beginner YouTubers struggle with is lighting. Their videos often appear to be too yellow due to indoor lighting or improper white balance settings on their camera. And if you don't understand how color correcting works, oftentimes you overcorrect, which means you'll end up with footage that is either too green, too blue, or even too red because those are the three primary colors that make up your footage. So the first thing is you wanna use natural light or lighting equipment. Oftentimes, indoor lighting will have more of a yellow tint to it, causing your video to be too yellow when filming. So to fix this, you'll wanna reduce your overhead lighting where you're filming at. Also, try filming with natural light. So open up some blinds so light can come through the windows and position your camera so the window is behind the camera to reduce any backlighting. You can also set up things like box lights and ring light. These typically have more of a bright white bulb that eliminates yellow tones so the footage looks better straight out of the camera. Now, if you're shooting on the go where lighting equipment isn't available, such as vlogging, you can use white balance cards such as this one from Amazon that's under $10. I'll go ahead and leave the affiliate link in the description box below so you can go ahead and pick that up while you vlog. This allows you to hold up the card at the beginning of your shot, which will make things easier when you're color correcting in Filmora. Now, if you don't have a white balance card, don't worry. You can also hold up a piece of paper. It may not work as well, but it is better than not having one at all. Now, once you have all your footage shot, you'll want to add your media to Filmora 10 and start color correcting. All right, so once you have your media imported into Filmora, you're going to drag and drop your clip to the timeline, and then you wanna scrub ahead if you held up that white piece of paper to where the white piece of paper is at. The reason why I do this first is because instead of going to the color correction here, and then manually doing everything, although you can pick presets here, such as there's Mission Impossible, so that kind of turns down the yellow tone. There's also a cool here, but that makes it a little too blue, and then there's a cool matte. Instead of messing with those first, I actually like to go to where the keyframing tool is. The reason why is because if you click on color, you're going to see a white dropper, or a dropper, where you can click on the piece of paper, and then this is going to adjust. So this is a point of reference for the white that we're trying to get it to or the, like the true white color and then you can change the temperature so either this extreme is too orange on the other end it's too blue so I actually like to turn it down to the blue all the way and then slowly work my way back up this way I can see okay where is the point where it's not too yellow but it's not too blue and washed out and then also too, you can mess with the tent. So again, bringing the tent all the way up makes it to like pink and purple, all the way down makes it to green. So you wanna get it to a point where it's more natural and it's not too pink. So once I start to get to the pink, I go ahead and turn it down just a little bit. And you can see this looks a lot better. And again, we use the white piece of paper as reference. So this will allow us to see what true white is. Okay, so once I have the dropper and I played with just the white balance, I'm gonna press okay. And then I'm gonna go to the color correction tool. So that looks like the little paint here, color correction. And then you're gonna go to adjust. The reason why I wanna do this, get to the same point. So I like to go off the same point that I was editing on is because I wanna go ahead and mess with the lighting as well. So now that I've corrected the white balance, we're going to correct the rest of the image to kind of get rid of any type of overshadows. So this little eye here is going to give you a before and after. So you can see that it really did take away a lot of that orange and yellow. And the AB is gonna give you a split. So you can either do side by side, but I actually like to do the left and right if this was more centered. So since it's not centered, let's go ahead and do a side by side so we can see if it's worked over correcting too much. So if you feel like this is still a little too blue, something you can do is the HSL. This will allow you to adjust just the single color in the picture. So for instance, if I click on the red and then I go to the saturation and I turn it up, you can kind of see if we go from the before and after that it really makes like my skin tone really red. And if I turn it down, it gets rid of a lot of color. So you can change the saturation and just the color. So again, I felt like it was kind of too plain, almost black and white. So I wanna turn up the color just a little bit here. Another thing you can do is the orange. So the red and orange really does help with the skin tone. Again, if you go way over here, 
or if you turn it down. And then I like to move with the yellow too, just to kind of get rid of any yellow. So you notice the yellow doesn't mess with any skin tone. It's going to mess with the side over here where the yellow cast is. So you can go ahead and turn the yellow down. And then we can see there's like a teal color here. So if you turn that up, you can see that that's changing at the window. And then the blue will change as well. So you see it really on the white, changes the white a lot. So you can go ahead and turn that down just a little bit so it's not too blue and it has more of an actual white tone. And again, you can see the before and after. All right, once I have the colors exactly where I want it, this is where I'll go through and I change the color here and the lighting. So color has things like exposure, brightness, and contrast, and lighting has highlights and shadows. So again, you're gonna look here, you can see it's really bright with the highlights. So if you wanna turn the highlights down a little bit, if you wanna bring like the shadows up, there's too many shadows. You just don't wanna wash it out too much. And then again, it makes the whites a little bit brighter here. And then you can deepen up the blacks as well. So that's where it's at. So you just want it to look really nice. And then if you go to color, exposure is the brightness here. So you can see that. So we don't want it overexposed. You can see actual brightness, same thing. So you don't want it too bright. Contrast just kind of deepens up your photo. So I like to turn up the contrast just to make it really nice. And then here, again, if you feel like this is too bland, you can turn up the saturation a little bit. So turn it down, it's black and white, too much color. And then the vibrance as well. So it gives you still really nice skin tone color without making everything else too yellow, too white. So here is the before. So it's a really brown, yellowish, and the after. So you have more of a white balance. And then you go ahead and press okay and then you can play your clip and then it's done. You can watch this video next for more simple tips on how to grow your channel and look more professional as a YouTuber. Now get out there, make some content, and let's grow together.